Hi guys and welcome to today's YouTube where we are going to be doing a demonstration of our new Flexi Gel product which you guys have been waiting for. So Flexi Gel is Ultima's pigmented sister and you guys are going to love it. So let's get straight in. So I'm just going to quickly first show you the beautiful box and set that we have. So Flexi Gel comes in eight colours. So Iris, Athena, Aphrodite, Minerva, Hera, Artemis, Persephone and Nyx. So they are all um, named after goddesses. And Laura, if you pass me the pops, I'm just going to show you guys the colours. So we have quite a range of colours here, which is fantastic. So they, they are designed to suit a lot of different skin tones. Um, and of course we have white here, which we are going to show you guys later in the video and discuss the uses of the white. So what can you use Flexi Gel for? So Flexi Gel is the exact same formula as Ultima Gel, it can be used for all the same things um, and it is hypoallergenic. Um, but it's just got pigment in it as well. So you can use it to apply your extensions, your full cover tips. You can use it as a sort of strengthening base, rubber base type product and a sort of builder as well. But we're gonna discuss how you would use it if you were doing it um, as a builder type gel as we go along. So we're gonna get started. Of course, there's gonna be more images and things on the website that you guys can go and have a look at the colors. Um, and yes, so Laura, we've just taken off nails on this hand. I am going to show you prep just to reiterate the way that we do prep. We're gonna prep these nails the same way we always do our prep, but because this is our first Flexi Gel video, I'm gonna do just one hand. I've already prepped the other one. So spray of our multi-purpose spray, which is a hand sanitizer and it has IPA in it. So perfect for sanitizing. And now I am going to go in with my mini sanding band here to prep the nails. So if you don't use an e-file, that's absolutely fine. You are going to use a nail file. Sorry if you can hear the dog drinking in the background. Um, so you are going to not use a buffer. We never really recommend the use of a buffer for preparing nails, just because it can make them, doesn't make them really grippy enough, especially when you're using products that um, are hemma free, hypoallergenic and things like that. We just want to give the products the best chance at lasting. Our products are, even though they are hypoallergenic, super, super simple to use. You don't need to implement any additional extra steps, but we are always recommending that we are being really thorough with our prep, not using a buffer, using a nail file, something like a 180 grit or um, of course a sanding band as I am doing here. So the idea is not to thin out the nail, it is literally just to etch the surface to make it nice and grippy for the product to adhere to. So we don't need to be going over the same <coughs> areas over and over again. Again, we don't want to thin out the nail or anything like that. What about um, putting acetone on over after you've done all that? Yes, so that is another <laughs> thing we have already discussed in several videos, guys, that... And also, Chris, I've just remembered that you have loads of videos that you need to um, upload, edit and upload, <clears throat> that we filmed before, but you said that they were on phones that were here. Oh, yeah. There's loads of them. And they're like little short videos that I think people would really like to watch. Yeah. Um, anyway. Do so, you like to watch the feature lamp ones as well? Yeah, but people, a lot of people, you know, maybe they don't have time, maybe they're doing like skip to the good That's it, skip to the good bit. So, we at Nail Order recommend a dry prep, and funnily enough, I've just seen somebody on our group talking about how they were using the sort of the wet prep method, cleansing the nails with acetone or IPA or a dehydrator after prep. And then they'd seen our videos saying that we recommended a dry prep and not to do that. And her retention has improved unbelievably since dropping that. We did do a video. I'm not sure if it's one that's on Chris's um, phone yet to go up, but I think Laura it went on TikTok, didn't yes, it? Yes, and it's got nearly 100,000 views actually. Um, TikTok, it's done really well. So that's worth going and watching, discussing um, the problems of over dehydrating a nail and just what it what it means and how it can stop the products from being as effective as they should be. So now I'm going in with my cuticle prep. Again, everybody does their prep their own way. We always say this when we um, are doing a video with prep, do what suits you. If you don't use the e-file, that's fine. You're just gonna use your manual tools. If you do use an e-file, you're gonna have your favorite prep bits that you're going to use. Right now I am using the mini barrel squared from Lucy Pastorelli. That's 
me, you and Jennifer's favourite. Yes, we all love that bit. It is absolutely fantastic. So I would highly recommend investing it. You can get 5% um, off her website using code nail order. Um, so if you haven't tried her bits yet, I would recommend it. And next I am, um, let's have a little look. Just a bit worried about where my head is here because I, I kind of feel like I'm hitting things, Chris. So just tell me if I'm in the way. I'd like to be here, is that okay? Okay. Okay, great. So I'm just going to do a little bit of nipping. Laura really doesn't have much, if anything, to nip at all. She never... I only done my nails a week ago. Yeah. Remember. Plus, you never really get sort of... Well, you don't see it, but I always nip my cuticles off of, in my spare time. So that's in my spare I time, I <laughs> nip my cuticles. I do art projects, nip my cuticles. <laughs> I'm sitting watching the telly and there's nippers nearby, they're gone. Long walks on the beach. <laughs> but I like to change it up depending depending on my mood, what bits I'm using. So this guy, I think it's just called a barrel. I quite like it though, especially after you've nipped <clears throat> for sort of smoothing things out. You can get a little, you know, some little jaggy bits and things after you've nipped. So this just smooths everything out and I really like it. I'm gonna use this in forward and reverse. So I'm just gonna do this left-hand side in forward. And then I'm gonna go back and around the other side in reverse. And that's just gonna give me a nice thorough prep. It kind of is like a polisher bit. Like it is, yeah, bit. very much. I like it. But again, I just go through, you guys have seen through all my different videos. I go through stages of using all different ones. It just depends how I feel. Yeah, because it was the ceramic bit and then yeah. it was the mini pair and now it's the mini battle squared. Yep. Yeah. What will it be next? I was on the wisp for ages as well. Wisp. See, because you like all these uh, bits, you never think I'm taking anything No. <laughs> no, Lucy, don't worry. I don't think she's worried. <laughs> no, I don't. Waking, <laughs> shaking in her bits. <laughs> uh, no. And you guys know that we work very, very closely with Lucy, and I think when it comes to tools and stuff, leave it to the professionals. Lucy's got all the tools covered, we've got all the gels covered, and I'm quite happy with that. I'm actually just going to go in with my tiny ball. Um, which should have been called the Becca ball, but whatever. <laughs> um, just because there's some little bits there that I would really so like to just bring one called the Becca ball. Well, cool. this was meant to be it, but, you know. I would like to session for a nail order uh, slash Lucy Passarelli bit kit 2.0 because oh. that was last year and a lot of them you've now evolved onto a different this bits. This is true. This is cover tips, haven't you? This is very true. That's actually not a bad petition or... Someone's very genius, some might say. <laughs> some. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in with the normal little ball just to finish off any little bits. I don't know this one too. I think there's three balls. I knew there was a big one, but I didn't know it was a medium and a small. Oh, yeah. yeah. Quite, quite considerable size difference. Size difference. Mm -hmm. That's a teeny tiny. It is. Great for getting into all those, oh, all those nooks and crannies. And go into forward. So if you guys have never done like a official e-file course, you might not know about the, the benefits of using both forward and reverse of the e-file. Um, it just helps you get the same standard of prep on each side. So when you're working on the left, which has an F in it, you're in F, you're in forwards. And then if you're working on the right, you're in reverse, which starts with an R. That's the way I always remember it. It's a game changer. It is. So I was again, scared at first, but it's better now. It, yeah, it's much better. So again, guys, I am not using any um, IPA or anything to clean the nails afterwards. We are just using our dusting brush just to remove any um, any debris or anything from the nails. A lot of people say, well, what do you do then? How, how, do, you, how do you get rid of dust and stuff? Well, what a lot of people are saying on the TikTok are saying, well, how do you clean the nail then? And it's like, well, your, your client's nails should be clean before. They should be clean. So they should have had their hands freshly washed and then you're going to sanitize them as well before you start. And then you're taking away the top layer of the nail anyway. So anything that was on the nail is gone. I get the dusty part. It's kind of like, um, oh, I can't think of it. But it's kind of like, you know, you, you think dust would stop adhesion, but obviously with your little dusting brush, you're taking away 
or the excess. Exactly, and just because you're using IPA or whatever doesn't mean you're actually getting rid of the dust. That's yeah, you could be like sinking it more. Yeah, the yeah, you could just be saturating the dust so you can no longer see it because it's um. Okay, and Laura, everything, you've not touched anything since that, that's fine, that hand is all ready to go. I'm just gonna get rid of this dusty, <laughs> my <laughs> mat. <laughs> Where's that mat? I had it. Okay. I'm just gonna pop out a fresh one. You guys don't need to do this um, when you're doing an actual treatment on a client. I just like to do it for the video. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I am going to do is I am going to prime the nails using our X Prime. So we recommend the use of um, X Prime with all of our products, unless you are using X Prep for full cover tips. Um, it's just a non acid primer, which is just going to help with retention. So we are going to cover the full area of the nail. And also, I've already shaped the nails, I should have said that um, prior to coming on here. Through that yeah, you guys that know that how to shape the nail. <laughs> um, so we are just fully covering all of the nails in our X Prime. I would like to put in a disclaimer as well that I have been quite bad at chewing my fingers this month. That oh, wasn't great. you, that was me. So the color that we are going to use on Laura today is Persephone, at least we're gonna use that on one hand. We are actually gonna show you the white iris on another hand and discuss why you might want to use this type of product in a white, because there are some really good reasons behind it. So we're gonna use Persephone, which I think is a fantastic all rounder sort of shade. Um, I think it's gonna be really good on paler people and I think people with darker skin tones as well. It's a really, really beautiful color. The same brush that you guys are used to with all of our gel products, and uh, the same design on the lid, name on the side, and of course our cute flexi gel bottle design as well, which is a completely new bottle design. So. This is very similar to a builder application. So what I am going to do first is I am going to paint on our base layer. Now, when you paint on the base layer, you want this to be nice and thin. You want to have that good contact with the brush to the nail. Um, remember this base layer is the most important layer. This is the layer which is, which is our, our adhesion layer to the natural nail. So you don't want a thin, sorry you don't want a thick layer of gel just floated on top of the natural nail you want a thin layer that has really got into the grooves of you know the etches and stuff that you have made um you don't need to scrub the product in but you just want to get that really good contact between the natural nail and the brush and you as i said you want this layer to be nice nice and thin I have a question about fresh gel. Uh -huh. Why did you choose the names like so difficult to follow the staff to yeah. say, pronounce, right? We chose that. We chose them all together. I didn't choose them myself. I love the names. That's a phone. Persephone. Persephone. <laughs> <laughs> said, look, I think I know, but how would you say that? I said Persephone. He says, ah, oh, I don't know. Think Stephanie, but Persephone. What's that? Um. I really love Persephone. I actually think it's going to be one of the most popular shades because it's just such a lovely natural colour. Personally, I feel the same except with Minerva. I love it. I've just taken off the hard gel to put this on, which is very, very different. I've had that on when we went to America as the sample way, way back. Remember? So he did. Mm -hmm. Start in July. Mm -hmm. That just goes to show how long we test things. Oh yeah, I gave samples of this to people in March last year. As in, uh, Kelly from Lavish Nails, she had a sample. Sophie's Beauty Bar, Instagram, she had a sample. Remember, we took that photo of me with it I had the little evil eye on my nose. Yeah. And we took a photo of me cute coil and with Monday Million. If you go back way in the grid, you see how that's that set was. Amazing. July. Mm -hmm. So, we have got our nice base layer down and we are going to cure that. So, Flexi Gel cures, guys, in 30 seconds. Now, remember, this is exactly Ultima, so pop your nail hand in, Laura. So, it's 30 seconds. It can be a little spicy for some people. If that um, people do find it a little spicy, you can just use a 90 second low heat mode. We've just got it on 30 seconds here. 
How's it going? I actually have no space in this whatsoever. And you literally just did your nails a week ago and then we've taken them off and then done them again. So that really is really good. Complaint. It's just about like over, not over exposure, but if you're constantly just doing your nails. If your nails are a little bit thinner, yeah. yeah. Some people as well are just more sensitive, just for different reasons. So what I'm going to say to you guys about Flexi Gel is when would you use it? We're actually going to be releasing a sort of prescriptive manicure. It goes so fast. It does. <laughs> a prescriptive manicure a uh, flow chart is that what you would call it questionnaire yep. thing so you guys can see when you're going to use each of our different products flexi gel is great for if you're not building an apex if you're not extending the nails i think it's really great for that if a client had really long natural nails i'm not sure i would reach for flexi gel i would probably reach for something that was a little harder build a gel or hard gel um, but for somebody who had short to mid-length natural nails they just wanted a firm base um, I would definitely, definitely reach for Flexi Gel. All you guys who've already used um, Angel, or if you're somebody that's um, got Ultima, sorry, like you know. bendy nails, you need a like, like a flexible product. On that's top it. Of that. So what I'm doing now is exactly the same as my build application. I am painting on a thin second layer, which is going to be my slip layer. Can we just look at how that brush just oh. and. Could you also just cure that if you just wanted two like thin bases? As a yeah, or base. you could just have one thin base. Mm -hmm. You know, if you just want to use this as your base coat for gel polish, you absolutely could. That's even beautiful, just as it is. Isn't yeah, it? stunning. So. Just to have something, I'm not going to say that I don't mean structured because we're not putting an apex in, but our method of application is this. So um, like Laura said, you could just have two thin base layers, you could have one thin base layer, but if you want something that is slightly more durable and is going to leave the nails slightly firmer we're going to do this method the same as our builder method so we've painted the base layer on we've cured it we have painted our second slip layer on and then we are just going in not with like a bead as such but just a just a thicker thicker layer and we're just going to move that around the same way as we would um with our builder but it's a lot thinner the thing is laura and i were discussing this a lot last week oh i don't know what has happened to my brush here we actually do our like you've been testing out some kind of product and it hasn't been washed up. I wonder what product it is. <laughs> this is exactly what the situation is for. <laughs> uh oh. Jelly. <laughs> oh my god, this oh yeah, I've not I've not um this poor brush. It's seen better days. It really has seen better days. So yeah, I am just going to guide it along and then I'm going to tell you in a second what uh, Laura and I were discussing about Builder. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to fully cure this finger. So what we would recommend, and you go. There we go, we would recommend fully curing, if you're doing that thickened, thickened? Second thicker layer, like you are doing your um, like you're doing a builder gel, but without an apex, we would recommend fully curing each finger. So you're going to do one finger on one hand whilst you're applying the gel on the other finger on the other hand, etc., etc. As I said, it's only 30 second cure anyway, so it's not a big problem. Because what we have found is with flash curing this product, it doesn't flash cure great. Um, so we're going to fully cure it. And you won't get cancer. Because uh, do you want to know? Do you want to know why I said that? Because Hannah started cuting her fingers like this, and what? I was like, "What are you doing?" She goes, oh, "I'm scared of UV rays." Oh you get my cancer. days! This is fear mongering in the nail industry. It has been proven that the frequencies from the UV light are not strong what, enough to give you cancer. Do you know why that is around? It's just people don't have anything to write about, so they just say oh. it could happen. Yeah, well, it's not true, so don't worry. Tell the story. Don't. Rebecca and I used to own a fish pedicure uh, spa in Dundee, it's in the UK. And we were one of the first, and it was ultra successful up until. I think oh it was yeah. The Herald or someone. It was a son. <coughs> the son wrote an article that it could potentially cause cancer. HIV. HIV. That's it's what it was. HIV, yeah. Because they found a study, because obviously you've got to do health and safety studies of everything, that it could potentially, and I think it was what was it, not point one percent. Here's what it said. Because what had happened is that the. Um, councils hadn't yet done like risk assessments for for this treatment. Part of one of the risk assessments. Um, so they have to, of course. So what the report said is that anywhere where your feet are out, that other people's are, so at a swimming pool or if you're trying on shoes or whatever, 
there is a risk that if your feet are out, their feet are out, that you could catch one of the things was, um, drop your hand up for me, one of the things was HIV. Of course, if you're in a swimming pool, you're out, somebody's got a cut on their foot, you have a cut on your foot. I mean, it's a- Do you get from swimming? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> Just irritate right. to the whole <laughs> um, Incredibly low risk, but it's possible. But what the Sun newspaper did is they took that report and they cut and pasted it together. So it read, fish pedicures can spread HIV, mm -hmm. freak people out. And that's exactly what they're doing with the lamps as well. Yeah, it's crazy. That's the thing, I mean, essentially, I think quarter of their business overnight. Yeah. Only the diehard would come back. People who had gift vouchers would use them, but not return. Thankfully, we were- Also, let's stop, um, you know, spreading around um, the, the chance of catching HIV as like a pure fear mongering and thing, as if that's not something that people have to deal with on a daily basis. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. let's be a little bit more sympathetic. And sensitive to the fact that, realistically, if you're reading these, these headlines, and then reading the article, surely you can work out for yourself that. Yeah. Um, also, as I'm with health anxiety, like, I don't need people fear mongering me with these stupid things, like, I'm going to get cancer if I get my nails done. Like, that's just not acceptable. There was some, there's a Kelly McLean you shared. Oh, yeah, yeah it was, was great. Story, I, the thing is, I've not looked at your stories for ages, Laura. And that's <laughs> the first thing I see. I thought, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, good one. Yeah. A higher risk of catching cancer, driving to your appointment and then mm -hmm. driving back to your appointment because while well, your hands are in direct contact with you, be like. Yeah, dry, like driving out in the sun yeah. with your hand out the window. Clever. Yeah. That would be really good for us. A clean up brush. Oh my god, are we going to get one of those? Not sure. <laughs> also, for the. Rebecca and I were having a chit chat yesterday about um, your project. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about changing the design and the colours. Mm -hmm. Especially okay. because there's a movie coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is a movie coming out. I seen yeah. that advertised on a YouTube yep. video yesterday, actually. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, now in you pop. So, guys, again, just to reiterate what I'm doing, we have cured, fully cured at the base coat. Um, we're doing this exactly like I would do Angel, except that it's, this is a slightly thinner product, so it's naturally going to apply slightly thinner. Um, no, he too did. <laughs> so we oh, are gosh, base yeah. base cure. We are curing that fully curing that base coat, applying a slip layer and then our slightly thicker layer of product, and then we are fully curing. Usually, we're working on two hands at a time, but we're going to do the white over here, and we're going to talk you through why we have a white in that product after I have finished this hand. This is such a stunning product to work with. It really self-levels. I would actually say it self-levels better than any other product that we have. And the other products we have self-level beautifully. And the reason I'm saying that is because this isn't gonna need any refining whatsoever. Not that you really could would. Could you refine a rubber, a rubber type product? You could refine this, yes, you could. But so very, very gently. So yeah, you probably wanna be using like a 240 uh, grit buffer. Um, and just being very, very, very gentle. Is the self level better because of flexibility within it? <sighs> yeah, and just a slightly thinner consistency. Though the reason we called it Flexi Gel is it is a very, it is a flexible product. So do remember that your nails are actually designed to flex. We have got ourselves very, very used to having very solid nails, which is actually not how they are meant to be. Um, but it is designed to have flex in the product, in, in the nail with this on. So, um, hence why it's called Flexi Gel. Shan um, from Clogasmic actually posted a TikTok about that the other day. Did she? And um, people on TikTok, as we know, are very feisty and they were taking offense to the fact they were thinking that she meant that you need to stop getting building gel or it's a bad product. But really, all she was saying was. Not one product fits all. Not all your clients need builder gel. Not all of them need a certain thing. Absolutely. It's descriptive. Absolutely. Very descriptive. That's going to be the word for twenty twenty four. Yeah, and that's what we've got. I think. <laughs> so guys, flexi gel, eight colours. Um, it is the same uh, formula as Ultima, so you can use it for all exactly the same things. We know you guys love that so much already, so you guys are going to fall in love with it. A nice range of eight colours to start with, some suitable for darker skin tones, light skin tones. I think we've kind of got, every, for a first launch of eight, I think we've got some really great colours for all skin tones. And then we have got white, excellent. So let's just have a little look. You can see, I'm just gonna tidy, I'll tidy up the ends once we're finished, but you can see, look at that. No refining required, absolutely perfect. If you're 
if you do say so yourself. I actually do like that on. It's and really natural and really, that I really think Persephone is going to be one of the most popular colours. Um, Normally I go for something lighter than my skin tone, but that's darker. I really I love it. Like it. In terms of top coat, do you need to top coat it? Yes, you do need to top coat it. You can of course use um, colour over the top, if you want to put colour on the top. Um, if you want to just go straight in the top coat, you want to use it as a French base, whatever you want to do. Um, you know what else I think this is going to be really good for? Um, painting like on top of extensions and stuff like that, mm -hmm. just as a nice sort of French base color. Obviously we have our um, shears as well. So yeah, that is uh, you Persephone. Can here you can, yes. So that is Persephone guys. Obviously I'm gonna top coat when the stuff was finished, but I just wanna show you guys the white. So try not get that hand sticky on. <laughs> okay, so the white here we have iris. I'm just gonna take this away just while I paint the base coat. And we are gonna talk about why you would want a white rubber base product a couple of reasons so number one if you were using this for a french it would be really nice to use the same type of product for the french tip um as the base as such um but also if you um use brands that have um pastels or neons that you'd really need to do quite a few coats to get that nice pop Oh my goodness, I'm making a... Of course, white is a much harder colour to paint. Um, but yeah, if you're using a brand that really needs a good few layers of those pastels or neons um, to make the colour pop, then having this as a base is going to be... really make a difference. Don't you think, Laura? Mm-hmm. And what if I wanted to use Iris Flexi Gel as my base and then put another brand, maybe a pastel blue from another brand on top? What would I have to do? So we are always recommending, of course, that you're using like one full system from start to finish where possible. But we know it's just not always the case in the real world. So what we would recommend is if you are using, as an example, you're using our base and another brand's gel polish on top, you are going to um, as a very minimum, you are going to remove the inhibition layer using IPA um, or our multi-purpose spray. Ideally though, you want to be buffing, um, just even just a very light buff the top layer of the base products before you go in with that other brand of gel polish. And exactly the same if you were using our gel polish over um, another brand's base. But remember that can change whether your system is hypoallergenic or hema free depending on what two systems you are mixing together again just to reiterate we always advise using one full system where possible but again we like to give real world advice but in hindsight it's really time you're supposed to open it up anyway yeah <laughs> i mean we're giving all the products I think we are. How many new launches has that been in the last 20, uh, last, I said 24 hours? In the last 12 months. Too many. People can't keep up. They're raging, actually. Yeah. If only I had a cleanup brush here. Oh my days. I really made a bit of a dog's dinner of this thing there. Do you have a microfiber brush you could do? That's a good question. It's always over there. <laughs> Why when the paintbrush is right there? <laughs> Why when the dodgy paintbrush is there? Why reach for the microphone? That's all polar powder brush. 0.5 millimetres away. <laughs> I'm glad you guys understand. Also, some people might just want a nice white base. I, I personally like a white nail. I would have that with a top coat on it after a couple of coats. But again, of course, with a white, you need to paint so much so, more delicate. Because I don't know enough about these products, is FlexiGel a softer product than our Angel? Yes. Gotcha. Yes, it is. Angel is it's not a multi-purpose product. It is designed to be a builder gel. A builder gel, not a structure gel. So it's there to... Well, yes, a structure gel is technically what a builder gel is, but we think people put way too much sort of I know what the confusion is, only because of TikTok. So Americans refer to hard gel as builder gel. Do they? Yes. Oh. Which is why people in the UK apply builder gel like hard, hard gel. gel. Just whack it on. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, because it, and oftentimes in America, builder gel comes in a pot as well. Yeah. The way that our hard gel comes it in a does, pot. does, you're right. Mm -hmm. you're right. So TikTok hard gel is full of powerful knowledge, I'll tell you that. Hard gel is designed to be applied a lot thicker than builder gel is. Or you don't you don't have to wear it thick, but it can be, which means it can cure thicker. Whereas builder gel, I just don't believe can, and I genuinely believe I've said this before that this has added to the allergy situation that we have. Is that these gels that were never designed to be applied that thick aren't curing properly? Also, it doesn't help if the brand you're using has like an excess amount of allergens in it that's so supposed to be there. That does, that, that is true and maybe combined with a lamp that is maybe not entirely suitable mm -hmm. for the product or not, not good enough quality. Okay, so, okay, I was just trying to get that really good. We have got our base layer painted and we are going in. Boom, 30 seconds. So again, ultimate, um, Flexi Gel can cure in 30 seconds um, using our lamp, but if somebody does find it a little bit spicy, you can absolutely use your 90 second low heat mode. But we are fine here. I was like, what is that face? Is she got a heat spike or is she going to no, sneeze? I can't tell. Like the thing is, 30 seconds passes so fast. It's not even actually long enough to paint the other hand. I know. I noticed that um, whenever I use a product that is 60 seconds, I feel like I'm waiting so much longer. Oh, I'm used to the definitely. Dairy. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to do the same as what we did over the other side. I am going to paint a thin, uh, what we're going to call slip layer. So it just helps that, um, that gel slip and slide. That's actually a big difference people need to remember between Angel and Flexi. Well, Cured in times. That is very, very just true. About that. But we have a, a table, don't we, that we could mm -hmm. add the Flexi gel into? The problem is though, what about when we release new products? Mm. Mm. <laughs> or when someone spills acetone and all the rain comes off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Started Economics is a big I conversation at the end. Yeah, I'm talking it all for Jira Gel. Yeah. So yeah, we can we'll get that added and ensure you guys have the right um the right knowledge. Just doing the exact I'm sure you're going to charge for it, right? Absolutely never. Not even charging for her conversion workshop right now. What's that? The best thing that will ever happen to you, converting to nail order. So when you are buying um, a kit, so if you buy um, what we call the big boy kit, I just don't like this nail. I just feel like we should just not look at it. Pop that hand in please, Laura. No upside down, mm, It's fine. Um, yes. Yeah, so once you are, when you are buying our angel kit, our it's a gel sampler kit, gel sampler kit, gel starter kit, kit. Gel starter kit. mini kit, you are getting a free conversion course, which is um, well, it's not a course, it's a workshop, which is going to show you our recommended way of using the products so that you get maximum retention. I'm just going to plug this lamp in because I am. Oh, maybe it will last. I used it a lot yesterday. Well, it was only on 25% when I was using it a lot yesterday, so that's why I'm, like, why I'm concerned. Okay, so again, God, white. Why did we agree to do this in a video? Laura, you did try to put me off. You're like, you sure white? White is it's hard on the paint. Nope. And I don't want it to look terrible. Sometimes you have to do something to realize you didn't want to do it. This is very, very <laughs> true. <laughs> yep. Just thought of so many different things about life. <laughs> your whole life flashed before you died, then. So. Everything from 12 years old. Stop me, relax. Yes, please, guys. So, we are now applying that second, slightly thicker layer. Um, we are not building in an apex or anything like that because we just don't have to. That's not what this product is designed for. Do you know what I said? Like, you see, like, looking at the grid just now. A lot of nails just look really nice and natural. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before, like extensions, I get those are place extensions, but. Oh, you talk about our Instagram grids? Yeah. Oh. Not mine. I, I, for some reason, when you said grids, I thought you meant oh, that right, grid okay, that comes up on the phone. I don't know, know why. I just mean, realized. like, granted, there is extensions in there, but when you're doing the kind of natural short nails, they just look like natural short nails. They don't look, what I mean is, they don't look thick and bulky. Yeah. Do you remember when some people used to. Have shorter nails for a reason, 
but it was still coming to get like the clinical was off of it. Yeah. And it was thick and bulky and it just didn't look natural. Whereas, some people like that though. Well. Yeah, some people do it's like weird. it. And you guys please Laura. It's weird to me. I'm not saying that person's weird, but I wouldn't like Some people, yeah, I like them bulky. They like to be able to use them as tools. Mm, that's that's really the thing, isn't it? Uh, the intended purpose of one's nails is to use a tool. tools, isn't it? Well, I've always thought so. <laughs> I've always thought so. Okay, can I do a bit of promo? Sure. Um, you can now buy some nail order things on TikTok. Yes, and you can also become an affiliate so that you mm -hmm. can make some money out of it. Please so. tell us more. <laughs> Is that a prompt or you want to do it? It is a prompt. Okay, so <laughs> You're a, better at a lot of you guys know that we had Nail Order Shop, which was a way of um, you guys making a little bit of money off selling things to clients without having to necessarily stock them. But what we thought would be a much more successful thing and actually just easier for us all around um, is to utilize the TikTok shop. So of course, a lot of our products are professional only, so they are not available on the TikTok. But everything that was previously available on Nail Order Shop which you guys signed up or a lot of you guys signed up to be affiliates for um, is now available on TikTok shop and you can sign up to be affiliate on that um, and we think that you'll be able to sell a lot more on that than you would have using your affiliate thing on um, Nail Order Shop. So how would they sign up Laura? Um, so it's not so much of a sign up with us, it's more of a sign up to be an affiliate on TikTok. So to do that, there is a caveat, you need to have um, a thousand followers. Unfortunately, um, I mean, it's not really unfortunate, I get why TikTok do it. They want to reward people for their work, they would rather you were someone that was posting consistently and then got the reward of being able to be an affiliate, which makes sense. So you need to be um, kind of on the ball with it, but that's the whole where you're going to make money anyway is posting videos consistently and advertising products. So if you've already got, so you're a new thing, you're a customer with us, you've got a sugar fairy hand sanitizer, you, you can just post a video of yourself using that, um, pair it with a trend and sound, tag the product. If someone buys that product through your video, you'll receive a 10% commission. So that's okay. as easy as that. So you're getting the 10% commission that you would have had through Nail Order Shop, except that would have been store credit and this is going to yeah. be cash. You don't need to give it a code or anything. It's just, you can, up, you can put it on your showcase. So much easier. If anyone wants actually any advice or help on how to do it, I wouldn't mind setting up like a one-to-one -one call or something and talking people through it. You know what you could maybe do? You could maybe do like a workshop on the group. Mm -hmm. Or a TikTok live. Yeah, something like that. Because it's, it's a really great way to make money. Like a lot of people earn a good living from being affiliates on TikTok and just selling things. Yeah, I see some guy popping up all the time trying to sell me aerial pods. And I bet you buy them. Yeah, uh, no, I want tight pods. <laughs> aerial <laughs> pods. Aerial pods and toilet paper. But for the makeup industry and the nail industry, I mean, it's easy sales really for stuff like that. The makeup especially, but. And it, but see something like such as Keezy's guys, Get involved Keys on that really because silly. you will you will get a you'll sell a lot. I mean, obviously, keys is small value, but you'll sell a lot of them, so it's it's definitely yeah. worthwhile. Also, okay. it just takes the, the hassle of you having to stock it, yeah, sell it, package it up, and everything else. It's different if it's in your salon or in your studio or something where they can just grab it on the go. It's mm -hmm. easy, but if you want to have to send them out, then it's a lot hard, a lot more harder. No, the guys not to come in here. Yeah. Also, just to be clear as well, um, we aren't selling retail items such as um, the 4 milliliter pens or the 30 milliliter uh, mini sanitizers because they are still exclusive to Neotex. So yeah, we, we understand a lot of Neotex make really great profit and that adds to their income. So we would never want to take that away from anyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's no point really in wasting so much of your time selling low value items on TikTok shop when you could be selling a £20 offer bottle and making 10% commission off that anyway. It's much more valuable for, for you. I'm so... Okay, okay, in we go. Hello. There we go. And then we just have the thumb to do. Um, so you can see that this flexi gel is a really, really, it's got lots, lots of different uses. It is what we are calling a multi-purpose gel. For all those people who love X-Base, this is the type of thing that you're now going to move on to. We are going to be discontinuing x -Base, but this has all the same uses, but it is a hypoallergenic product. And we think actually a much more superior product. Mm -hmm. um, just to clarify, is that like just unisex? Absolutely. Okay. And then we have got the thumb. Guys, please forgive my um, not fantastic painting. <laughs> 
My not fantastic. I don't know why I did white, if I'm honest with you. Because we wanted to discuss why we have a white one. Because a lot of people might be like, that's a bit weird. But it has its uses. Because we, we were backwards and forwards on whether we should do it, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And then we decided that we should. When Laura, I think it was the one, was like, I like, actually, do you know that would be good for? French and... Castles. Not French. And neons. Yeah, because you want a nice, um, a nice base to set Because up. you could put a pastel colour on top of Persephone, but it wouldn't pop the way it would on top of Iris. I mean, nail the ones would, but maybe not another brand. Problem you've got with what I think Laura or anyone else would be thinking, you would have had to do a couple of coats of builder, then a couple of coats of white, then a couple of coats of nail. Yep. So before you know it, you're back to the nails. So how much time is this going to save? And product. So much time. Can't wait to see how much you guys love this. When's this video going? Um, maybe a Monday. Could you do it for then? Then mm -hmm. what about all of your other videos that you need to get done? Jet lag's not actually kicked in. We'll Can we go? Tip, guys, if you are travelling this summer, I liquid IV, or also known as electric water, is an absolute... Oh my god, it made such a difference. Oh, I thought you were saying you got the actual injection. No, 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 no. I feel like I do that. I really want to do that too. But no, celebrities get it. Oh, so I'd good. love to. <laughs> but liquid IV is, it's a... It's not just electrolyte powder though, it's a special, it's a hydration multiplier. Um, they're really Keep pricey. Really pricey, but they're really great for hangovers and link jet lag. In the video in the description below. Do that! Go you do that. Do an Amazon affiliate thing? Do. Oh, you do? Right. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you should disclose that, Chris. Great. <laughs> Okay, perfect. So there we go. I'll tell you what's not perfect, the painting. Um, but you can see that that is a white. It's a really, really good coverage as well. So even if your client was just wanting white nails mm -hmm. um, and you didn't want to just do a normal gel polish, this is just going to save you so much time because you don't need to add a base coat. You've got the white, you just have to put a top and coat on. And you're saving your white gel polish for someone that doesn't need a structure. That's base. it. You're saving your white gel polish and all you need to do is put a top coat on. You don't need any base. So absolutely perfect we cannot wait to see what you guys do with it um Is so that a good nail fee? it's beautiful <laughs> so on the top there we have persephone um, which I think is going to be one of our most popular colours. And down here we have Iris, which is white. Um, I've still got to top coat them, but I'm not going to bore you with doing that on camera. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to see us do anything in particular, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when we release any other videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.